Hey guys. Hello. How are you guys? Hey puppy. Hey Annie. How are you? Hi teacher. How, How are you doing? You? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú cómo estás? Fine. Fine? That's Fine. good. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, I know it's Friday, right? <laughs> but I'm so happy that you are here, even though it's Friday. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, today we're going to learn so much fun. And we, okay, we're going to learn a lot. Okay, a lot of things, Anika. We have Michelle Vidal as well here. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Como estas? Hello. Hi. And you? Pretty good. With a lot of energy. And happy because it's Friday. Yay. The body knows that it's Friday, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to rock and roll for a week. Yes. Anyway, where is everybody, by the way? Did they forgot that today we do we have class? No. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Let's wait, right, guys? Let's wait. Yes, maybe. Yeah, let me, let me send in a message. Let me check. Somebody wrote today right now. Damn. Let me check. Um, uh, okay. Arturo won't be able to because he has a problem and also Gita. Yes, but the rest of the guys, hopefully they're here. Okay. We're going to wait for that now. Right? Okay, very good. Hey. Do you remember what we saw yesterday, guys? Do you remember? Michelle, you were not in yesterday's class. Were you? Yes. You were in, yeah? in the lab. In the end of the class, my internet has some problems. So. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And now, if it's working much better? Well, um, Hopefully, in, yeah, some right. moments, in, yeah. ha in some moments, I um, have some problems, but I think it's better than yesterday. Oh, that's great. And, but it's not your router. It is related to the... Um, to the company that's providing you the internet, maybe? That they have a uh, yes, problem right I now? think they have some problems. Uh, yeah, that had happens to me, I think, on Monday. That, oh my, and you know what? Do you remember that on Monday we had like a, like a really hard rain, right? Yeah, yes, and when raining. it's raining, the internet is worse. Yes, I remember that. Yes, it was raining like cats and ducks. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, that happens to me. Yeah, I know that. But it was not related to my provider. To, uh, sorry, to my router. It was related to the internet provider. So hopefully nothing happens, okay? Yeah, you know what? Olguita is here as well. So that's great. Olguita, how are you? Hello, fine. Hey. And you? Fine, and I'm happy because I told them that you were not supposed to be here because you have problems with the uh, internet, but you're good, you're here, so that's good. Yes, it's good. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about that issue also with Michelle, that she had a problem yesterday with her internet, but now she said that it's working fine, so hopefully everything goes well, okay. Oof, yes. Yes, Let's close our fingers, everything right? is well with my connection. Oh, that's in this great. moment. In this, this moment. moment. So far, <laughs> so good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it hopefully uh, it's not going to get worse uh, or it's, a, it's about to rain because when we when it start raining, we were talking with Michelle that that the internet goes slowly, right? And sometimes we lose the yes. connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but right now, well, in my house, it's not raining. What about in your house, guys? Is it no, raining? In no? my house, no. no, it's not raining. What about you, Anita? Is it not raining? It's no. Raining. Is it raining? It's raining. I hopeful, but, but hopefully it rains slowly, right? No, like cats and dogs, so slowly. Yes. It's slowly. Oh, that's good. So we're good. What about you, Michelle? Is it raining? No, here is yes. not raining. That's good. We're good on that as well. What about you, Carlitos? Is it raining where you're living right now? Hi, teacher. Yes, it's raining here. Like a cats and dogs? Or slowly? No, no, no. It's ah. slow. Okay, very good. Yeah, I was asking you because uh, sometimes we got problems with the internet connection, but hopefully today. A yeah. uh, few minutes ago, uh, uh -huh. we had uh, each week uh, 
electrical, electrical issue. Well, really? Like the, the lights went off? Yes. Ooh, no way. But hopefully not. Okay, let's cross our fingers, okay? You know what? Are you using your computer right now? Yes. Okay, uh, do you have internet in your cell phone? Yes, yes. But um, when we lost the, you know, how do you, light offline? Uh -huh. when, we, we, when we had an electrical issue here, uh, we lost the communication with the cell phone and everything is, is gone. Really? Even though you are using your your cell phone data? No, no. Right now, no. But uh, when That's why. we we lost the communicate, we lost the the, the, the we, we had electrical issue uh -huh. and the um, uh, antenna. I don't know say how. Antenna, yeah. Antenna is uh, doesn't have uh, any uh, backup to to keep the electric uh, electrical. But if you do have uh, your cell phone, there's an option that you can set like a share, like a hotspot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that, the cell phone is, it, it does, it doesn't It's not work. working? No. Even though, working. even though with Anything. the cell phone data? Yes. Anything is working. Oh my goodness. So you're uncommunicated. Yes. That's not possible. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, and with the quarantine, I had a lot of problems with, mm -hmm. uh, for it, for a lot of meeting mm -hmm. because we have an issue with the communication here because yeah. the signal is very uh, back, we yes it's very worse. Mm -hmm. Wow, it depends on the providers. So the cell phone provider, the internet provider, is the same cell uh, provider of your house. Ah, so that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if it should be different, well, you don't have any problems. But if it's the same, yes. I, I had I, my cell phone is with, with Claro. Mm -hmm. and it's a cell, company cell phone. And my internet in the house is with Tigo. But uh -huh. all the, all the, I had. Really? Uh, several you know what? Remember that on Monday we had issues with the internet? So because um, it was raining and I didn't notice that because here uh, in my room, there's like a, <laughs> I don't know, but my room is really like, um, we can say it like far from the house. So I cannot hear uh, the strong noises, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't notice that it was raining. And, uh, but uh, my cell phone has a different provider, the internet mm -hmm. provider, and the house has a different provider. So when I open up the hotspot, I could give uh, internet to my yeah. uh -huh. computer. Yeah, I could yeah. do that. Really? Yeah. Okay, oh my God, hopefully nothing happens. Okay, let's cross our fingers, to please. <laughs> yeah, what about, hey, are you still eating? Having your dinner, Carlitos? No? Mm, no, no, teacher, no. Oh, okay, okay, no, I, I... no, but that's okay for me, okay? Don't worry, if you want to drink something, that's okay. What about you, Helen? Helen Mercedes, how are you? Hello. How are you? Having dinner. Pretty good. Okay, I don't know, but somebody's calling me and I don't know why. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? ¿Cómo está? Dígame.
Sorry, guys, it was one of your classmates. He, he was uh, telling me that he had internet problems and he won't be able to connect to today's class, okay? All right. Hey, we have Olguita. No, Olguita is already here. Adela. Adela. Yeah. Hi. How are you, Adela? Hi. Hi. Fine. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, we have Umberto, Ronald Umberto today. Is he still uh, working? Or right now he's at his home? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? Um, kind of. Kind of? Yeah. Are you tired, sir? Yeah, I have I have a different problems with my computer, so uh, it was a tough day. A tough day. And I'm oh. working, but... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm happy that I can hear you. And you're in today's class, so that's amazing, sir. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, okay? I do understand that you keep on working, and but um, I do appreciate that you're here, okay? So don't worry if you do not, if you can't, uh, or you're unable to turn it on your camera, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, thanks, teacher. Thank you so much for being here, okay? All right, good. Okay, guys, so let's start. Uh, do me a favor, now we're eight. We have Adela, Ani Rosales, Carlitos, Helen, Michelle, Olga and Mr. Umbert. Okay, guys, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about relative classes, right? Yes, with additives. Okay. And do you remember that today we're going to talk about personalities? Guys, sure. yes, Umberto. Uh, uh, I, I have a question. Dígame. Tell uh, me. I don't, I remember uh, that last level um, we saw a topic uh, related uh, that relative pronoun uh, using mm -hmm. who and which. And I remember that you told that uh, we, we have to use who when I speak with uh, related with people. Mm -hmm. So in, in this case, uh, we, we use who uh, as well. Yes. But I, I'm I am a little bit confused because uh, it's not clear for me what is the difference between uh, the last uh, the last uh, explanation I don't know for, explanation explanation <laughs> uh, and and the explanation that you you said in this in this level. Oh, the, you remember that the last time we talked about who and which, right? Yeah. Okay. Who, that this, uh, who is going to be for person and also that is going to be for person. But which, Umberto, we only use it with uh, things, not with yeah. persons. That is one of the difference. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah, that, but, uh -huh. but it's, it's not clear for me that... that Oh, well, when I when I when I want to use who, mm -hmm. uh, I'm referred to people, so it, it, it's clear for me. Uh, but in this case, uh, when when you said that who uh, is as the object of the clause. Uh huh. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. So you don't understand when when you use who as an object and when you use who as a subject, is that right? Yeah, I, I understand, but it's not, it's not clear for me. But what is exactly not clear? The relative pronoun used as a subject or the relative pronoun used as an object? As an object. Ah, okay. What yeah. is what is exactly the part that you do not understand about an object as an object? Uh, well, I I I understand that when is a uh, a who as an object, uh, we use a a, a model. Uh -huh. Exactly. Would exactly. Mm -hmm. And. No, I don't know. Okay, let me give you something. Let me give you an example here. Let me go back here. I want you to be clear on that. Okay, and let me check. So let me explain it right now. I, I, 
guys, are you able to see my screen right now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Okay, so Ronald's question is this side. Is that correct, Mr. Ronald? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so in this case, we have two sentences, Mr. Ronald. This is the first one. I prefer someone, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Don't look at this. Don't look this. Then, this is sentence or clause number one. I have fun with. This is clause number two. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do me a favor. In the first sentence, the first one, what is the subject? I. Mm -hmm. In the second one, what is the subject? The same, I. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So in this case, Ronald, uh, we have a subject in the second clause and we have the subject in the first clause, right? So in this case, who and that is not going to substitute any subject. Okay, it's not going to substitute, no way. What is going to be, is going to be the bridge. The bridge between, you know what I understand with what is bridge? El puente, the bridge? Yeah. The bridge, okay. Between the first idea and the second idea to gain more emphasis about something. Let me go back, let me go back, there you go. Okay, so you see, because here, we're, we're not going to use who or that to substitute the second I, no way, because it's not necessary, yeah? We're going just to use it to join the two ideas. However, if you notice, do you remember that we can use it and we cannot use it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? If you read, for example, the first idea and the second idea, Read it without who and that, please. Can you please read it for me? I would prefer someone uh, who I have no, fun don't, with. No, don't use who and that. Oh, okay, okay. I, I would prefer someone I love fun with. I have fun with. Okay. So you prefer someone I have fun with. Prefieres a alguien con quien pasa super bien el rato, right? I have fun with. All right, good. Do me a favor. Read again. The sentence, but using only who? Uh, I prefer someone who have fun with. No, you have to use I also, I. Ah. Uh -huh. Who I love fun with. No me pongas love, porque love no está ahí. I prefer someone who I have fun with. Read otra vez. I prefer someone who I have fun with. Very good. Now say it again, but now using that, please. I prefer someone that I have fun with. Okay, very good. Let me ask you. In the three sentences that you use, is it the same meaning? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Yes. So you see? Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It, uh -huh. it, that's why it is in parentheses because you can use it or you cannot use it. It's optional. It's optional. And the meaning will be the same. And one of the other differences is that, for example, as an object, we have the own subject per clause. This clause has a subject which is I, and the second clause has a subject which is I. But in this one, if we use the relative clause as a subject, let me let me write it. This is going to be changed. For example, let me give it to you the sentence. The first sentence will be, I like uh, people. Okay, let me use people instead of guys. Okay, I like people. First sentence, okay? They aren't, wait a minute. I had to change into Spanish. I always forget to change that. And errand two series, okay. All right, 
This is the second sentence. Is that right, guys? Are you with me? Um, Umberto, yes. are you with me? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, we have one sentence. I like people. You have the second sentence there in two series. Okay, so I'm going to use the relative clause, who and that, to join these two and dia and to become one. So in this case, Ronald, this particular thing, this one, I'm going to change it. I'm going to substitute this part. And instead of putting they, I'm going to use who or that to make it only one sentence. Let me write it for you. I like people who, or that, depends, right? Or that errand to cereals. You got this one? You yes. see this one? In here, Ronald, if you if you take a look here, we don't use they anymore. They is substitute for either who or that. But mm -hmm. in the second case, okay. no. Are you with me now? Yeah. Is it clear or more clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, thanks that's teacher. My pleasure. I, I'm really happy that you always ask because for me, I, I remember it's not quantity of knowledge. For me, it's quality of knowledge. So I want you guys to make, I want to make sure that you understand. Maybe it could be just one topic, but you do understand it correctly. And I, and I really appreciate that you have asked that, Umberto, because basically it was not a refresh okay. only for you, but it was a refresh for everybody. Okay, guys, now, do you understand much better now, guys? Yesterday's topic? Yes. Yes, yes, yes? okay, yes. cool. Now, guys, let me ask you a question. Ah, uh, okay. Umberto, if I, is, that, is that okay if I continue using you? Umberto. Umberto. Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm not going to use Umberto because I think he's working. Uh, let me check. Carlitos, is that okay if I'm using you? I cannot hear you, Carlitos. Yes. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, if I'm using you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, as an example, okay? As an example, Carlitos. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to no. formulate two questions. Yes, Ron Ronald, you were out, okay? So I was, I was supposed to continue using you, but sorry. <laughs> no, but I'm going to use Carlitos right now, okay? Okay, I'm going to formulate two questions. And I want to know, guys, if you know what is the difference. What is the difference for the information that I'm asking you? Okay? Uh huh. Hey. Uh, Carlitos, are you married? Sorry. Okay. No, no I know that is that is not like <laughs> it's it's like yes. re, it is related to the to the class. Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, yes. No, uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. and let me check. Okay. Okay, Carlitos, everybody, look at the chat that I sent right now. This is one question. Okay, let me send the other question and I will explain it.
take a look at the questions that I have here in the chat. We're talking about Carlito's wife, right? As an example, Carlito. Okay. And I said, Carlos, how does your wife look like? And I also asking, what is she like? Guys, do you know the difference between these two questions? And what am I asking on the first one? And what am I asking on the second one? Any idea, guys? At the second, I think it's uh, you are asking about uh, something, uh, like uh, a thing. And in the first, I think I asking for a semejanza. No, no, yes, yeah, you are right about something, Jose, that I'm asking two different things in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the questions. Even though, guys, they are similar, and most of the people use it in, the, in a wrong way, but I want you guys to understand what is exactly I'm asking in order for you to use it correctly, okay? Okay, for, take a look, guys. For example, if I ask Carlitos, Carlitos or Carlos, okay? Because he's already a grown-up man, sorry, okay. Carlos, how does your wife look like? What I, wa what I want to know, guys, with that question, or the first question, I want to know Carlos, um, I want to know your wife's physical appearance. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. Okay. So, in the first, um, in the first question, I want to know about physical appearance, Carlitos. But if I ask you the second question, I want to talk about, or I want to know, about something else. I want to know about her personality. Okay, that's different. You see, guys, in the two sentences, in the two questions, we use like, right? Like, like. But the first question is where we're talking about physical appearance. And when the second question is where we're talking about personality. So, Carlitos, if I ask you, because you know, you and me and everybody know that we're talking about your wife, right? Okay. So, you said, if I ask you, Carlitos, what is she like? I'm asking you about her personality. How can you describe her? Uh, very friendly. Mm -hmm. um, honest. Very good. Thank you. That's good. How will you describe yourself? ¿Cómo te describirías a ti mismo? How are you like? How are you like? Uh, or, or what are you like? Uh, teacher, I, I think a little, a little uh, friendly. Friendly? Okay. Not, not, not bad. A okay. Little. A little friendly. Okay. Shy, maybe? Shy? Dimido? Shy? Mm, sometimes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, let me ask somebody else. <laughs> yes, but no, but it's not going to be you. Don't worry. <laughs> Adela. Hola. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is your husband like? Is uh, is intelligent. Okay. Um, kind. Kind. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Um, comprehensive. Comprehensive. Oh, that's good. Very good. Wendy. Hi, teacher. Are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? I don't know. Neither. Neither. Oh, oh let's talk about your mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is she like? Uh, um, friendly. Friendly. Friendly? What else? No, my mom is um angry woman. Angry? Okay. <laughs> Angry? Yes. And she is so uh, serious. 
angry, serious, okay. Any positive adjective? Yes, <laughs> she is nice with the uh, plants. Ah, okay, so she loves garden. Okay. Yes, and she loves the pets. Oh, okay, so she has a big heart. <laughs> yes. Very good, thank you. Okay, <laughs> let me ask somebody else. Hello, Mercedes. Boyfriend, husband, no? Uh, sister? Yes. Okay. Two. Yeah, okay. What is she like? She is, the older one is very angry. Okay. Mm -hmm. She is really unresponsible sometimes. Okay. And okay, about positive adjectives, <laughs> please. Yeah. Um, she gave good advice. Oh, okay. So she's a nice friend. Yes. That's nice, you see? Very good. Uh -huh. So you see, guys, we're, you're talking about positive and adjectives and negatives. Okay, we're going to go into deeply all that, okay? Because today, guys, we're going to learn more vocabulary relating to people's, describe people's personality in order for you to use it and also to increase your knowledge, okay? We're going to learn about that as well. Uh, so when I ask you again, you will need to use those new adjectives, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know. Jose Ramirez, how are you, sir? Hi, Hi. I'm so fine because I know that you're going to answer this question. Okay. okay. Uh, girlfriend, wife? No. Oh. No. Mother? Yes. Okay. What is she like? She likes... She is? She is? She is... She is like... No, she is. Only she, she is. Okay. She is... Uh, smart. Okay. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely? Okay. Oh. She is sometimes is uh, I don't know if it's, uh, it's uh, angry, but it's uh, <laughs> uh, she don't don't like to. She don't like or she doesn't like. She doesn't like uh, doing any judge judges. Judges, judges, judges. I, I think that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. So you see, you said positive and negative as well. Very good. Hopefully your mom is listening to you, huh? <laughs> okay. Olguita. What about you, Olguita? Hi, Olguita. Hello. Hey, boyfriend, husband? No? Yes, husband. Husband. Okay, what is he husband. like? What is he like? He's... Mm, he's... <laughs> Don't worry. You don't, you don't have to, to, to say negative things. Positive things. Really. <laughs> He's, uh, sociable. He's sociable. He's sociable. Um, He's intelligent. Intelligent. Okay. One more. Uh, he is... Um, a little angry. <laughs> okay, a little angry. Okay, that's good. Very good. Positive and negative. Very good. Michelle Vidal, what about you, girl? Hello. Hello. Husband? Boyfriend? No. No. Uh, father? Yes. Okay. What is he like? Well, he is angry. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, and he is intelligent, okay. honest, hmm. he's funny. So you see, he has more and quality, positive than negatives. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, very good. Excellent. Okay. I'm, and last but not least, Umberto. Hi, teacher. Now is your turn, my man. Okay. <laughs> what is your girlfriend like? Um well because I'm here I will say the true. Okay. She she's callous. 
she's bananas. Bananas? She's angry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. But sometimes it's very, very romantic. Okay. And she's a good person. That is the truth. Oh. Oh, isn't he lovely, guys? Oh. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you. Guys, good job, guys. You have uh, done really good. Really good with the vocabulary that you know so far. Today, we're going to learn more vocabulary related to um, other words that we can use to talk about people's personality. Okay. So, let me share right now my screen with you. Let me double check something first before I move on. Okay, this one. Yes, this is the one that I need. Okay. Now, this is another one that I need. Hey, no. Yes, this is the one that I need. Guys, can you see it? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, guys, repeat yes. after me the first one. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. What does it, what, is, what is that person? Uh, Olguita, read for me the definition of easy going, please. Okay, an easy going person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Very good. Llevadero, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. Second one, egotistical. Repeat after me, please, guys. Egotistical. 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 Okay, what is that person? Adela, can you please read for me the definition? Okay. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion uh -huh. herself. Exactly. Very hard opinion for himself or herself. En otras palabras, se cree la mamá de Tarzán y los pollitos, right? Egocéntrico. Number three. Uh, unflexible. Repeat after me, please, guys. Unflexible. 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 Mm -hmm. Carlitos, can you please read for me the definition of unflexible? Unflexible. A uh, unflexible person is someone who, do, who, do, who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Muy bien. Otras palabras, que las cosas quiere que se haga de su manera y es inflexible, right? Okay. Number four, modest. 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 Wendy, could you please be so kind to read for me the definition? Okay. A, mod a modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her Accomplishment. Accomplishments. 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 Those palabras, modesto, right? Modesto, synonym of humble, humilde, right? Okay. Now, this comes the one, I think, I think Wendy mentioned it. Or Olguita, I think, either or. Uh, Michelle, okay, repeat after me, guys. Sociable. 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 Michelle, can you please read for me the definition, Michelle? <laughs> Okay, a sociable person is someone mm -hmm. other people. Exactly, it's someone who enjoys being with other people. What does that mean in Spanish, guys? What does it mean? Sociable. Very good. Sociable. Very good job. Number six, guys. Stingy. 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 Okay. Stingy. Okay. What is the definition? Jose, can you please be so kind to read for me the definition of a stingy? A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Very good. Guys, do you understand what is the meaning in Spanish? Stingy? Tacaño. Exactly. Colo. Very good. Exactly. Very good job, guys. Supportive. 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 Uh, who hasn't read? Helen Mercedes? With, read the definition for, for me, please. For, a supportive mm -hmm. person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Very good job. 
Number eight, temperamental. 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 Very good. Umberto, can you please read for me the number eight definition if it's possible for you? A, tem a temperamental. A temperamental person, someone who has unpredictable or irregular mood. Very good. It's someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Okay? Temperamental, right? Guys, unpredictable, impredecible. Irregular, irregular. What is mood, guys? What is mood? Models. Mm. Hungry. Estado de ánimo. Yes, very good. That's the definition. ¿Qué pasó con mi right, Spanish right hand, Jose? And the last one, guys. Unreliable. Unreliable. Let me check. Hey, Carlitos, can you please read for me the definition of unreliable, please? Okay. Um, unreliable. Unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what or do what he or she prom promise. 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 Yeah, in otras palabras, what does it mean in Spanish, guys? Antisocial. No. Que no cumple la Exactly. What, ¿Cómo se le llama a esa persona que no cumple? No es una persona confiable, right? No es confiable. Unreliable. ¿Sí? ¿Hay una palabra para eso en español, chicos? Is, is or is not? Yeah, very good. Yeah, podría ser como a responsible, sí. It's, it's a synonym. Okay, repeat after me, guys. Easy going. Easy going. Egotistical. Egotistical. Unflexible. Unflexible. Modest. Modest. Sociable. Sociable. Stingy. Stingy. Supportive. Supportive. Temperamental. Temperamental. Unreliable. Unreliable. Now do me a favor, guys. Easy going. Is it positive or negative mm. st a, a statement? Positive. Positive. All right. What about egotistical? Positive or negative? Negative. negative. Yeah. What about unflexible? Positive or negative? Negative. 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 All right. Modest? Positive. positive. All right. Sociable? Positive. Positive. Okay. Stingy? Negative. 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 Supportive? Positive. Positive. Temperamental? Negative. And unreliable? Negative. Negative. Okay, guys. Very good. So now, guys, we are developing the reading skill the speaking skill, but also we need to focus on the listening skill, okay? So right now, guys, this is what I want you to do. You're going to listen to three people talking about three, per, three uh, different persons, okay? And they are trying to describe that person's personality, okay? So I just want you guys to pay attention if they talk about positive or negative adjectives okay that's the first thing that i want and then i'm going to ask you something else but first of all just stay or focus if they say positive things or negative things about that person that's all that's the only thing that i want right now okay okay so bear with me for a couple of minutes there you go I need to share it right now, my screen. Have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her.
I can listen. Uh, we didn't hear, teacher. I can, I can listen the, the audio. <laughs> teacher, we can listen. Really? You really? cannot Thank listen? You. No. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. At the beginning. Okay, don't worry. You can you couldn't listen. Okay, no pudieron listen. No. No. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to share it one more time. Okay, this is okay. Bear with me for a moment. Let me share right now my screen. Now I'm going to ask you if you can listen, okay? Okay. So, have you. Can you listen now? Yes. Okay, that's what yeah. I want. Seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. And there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people. And he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah. I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay, guys. Was it easy? Easy, easy, easy. Okay. I told you guys that this model, I'm going to play the auto program only one time. Only one time. And, and I didn't, you see guys, there were three people, right? Three, per, uh, three people, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. One person we were talking about uh, different people, okay? And also talking about their personalities. So um, I'm going to play it only one time. And I'm not going to pause. So we'll be, if, you, if, you, if you notice, guys, it was one uh, listening for the three people together, right? I know that was really hard, but you need to get used to, okay? Hey, guys, so did you, the, uh, did you got the idea about it was positive or negative adjectives that the people uh, were using to describe that persons. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me show you something. All right. Okay. Let me share right now my screen with them. Uh, just let me know if you see it. Mm -hmm. 
Can you see my screen now, guys? Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember, Andrea, okay, do me a favor. Uh, the descriptions uh, were positive or negatives? Negative. Negatives, okay. What about James, guys? Positive. 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 All right. What about Mr. Johnson? Negative. Negative. Okay. I, that part was easy peasy queasy, guys. Now, do me a favor. If, negative. If you said that Andrea was negative, do you remember what uh, adjectives that person used to describe her? Logistical and uh, stingy, maybe. Okay, what do you think, guys? Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I will play the audio one more time. And now, guys, I don't want you to think that it was positive or negative. Now, guys, pay attention about the adjective. Gracias por ponerte la camiseta. Yes. About the adjectives, guys, that each person use to describe Andrea, to describe James, and to describe Mr. Johnson. And sometimes, guys, they don't use the adjectives. They just make the explanation about how is the conduct of the person, okay? Or how is the person's behavior, okay? So pay attention, okay, to what is exactly they said about each person. That's what I want. Uh, uh, do you understand, guys? Yes? Cool. Yes. yes. All right. So bear with me. Let's go back to this. Okay. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Pay attention of how they describe each person, okay? So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah. Can you can you hear it? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. cool. Yes. I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. And there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people. And he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up. And he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. Finish. All right. All right, guys. So, 
do me a favor. I send you uh, um, information through your WhatsApp. Did you receive it? Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. Now that we listen again the information about each person, Andrea, James, and Mr. Um, Johnson, do me a favor. Which statement best describes Andrea? Remember that we have seen this uh, vocabulary, right? We're talking about personality. Uh, if you remember what the friend or the roommate said about Andrea, she expressed that she was egotistical and stingy, sociable and easygoing, or ter temperamental and reliable. What do you think? Guys? Egotistical and stingy. And stingy. Very good job. Very good job, Wendy. Very good job, Olguita. Uh, Carlitos, what do you think about Mr. James? Egotistical and stingy, temperamental and reliable, or sociable and easygoing? What do you think? Uh, sociable and easygoing. James, yes. Very yes. good. Very good. And last but not least, Mr. Johnson. What do you think about Mr. Johnson? Uh, Michelle Vidal, what do you think? Is it is egotistical and stinky, sociable and easygoing, or temperamental and unreliable? What do you think, Michelle? I think Michelle is not here, right, guys? Yes, maybe not. What about you, Jose? Don't leave, about Jose. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, yes. What do you think? Temperamental and unreliable. And reliable. Okay, yes, very good. Jose, it looks like if you are an, I don't know, astronaut and just... Your the head guy, is floating. Okay, guy. that's good. Oof, and I was like, what happened with Jose? Okay, very good, guys. Guys, uh, we have five minutes, but um, we're going to work together, okay? We're going to work together five minutes. So this is what I want you to do. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, she sent me a message already, so that's okay, no problem. Guys, I'm going to send you a message, and you're going to interview your partner, okay? We're going to get each other much better. So let me just a couple of minutes when I click on here and I will send it to you the information that you're going to use to interview your classmate. So bear with me for a couple of minutes and I will let you know. Isn't it amazing guys that you're going to get each other much better? That's great. Hey guys, how many how many people we are right now? Can you count? Ten. Ten. Yes. No, without me. Nine. Nine. Ah, okay. Yes, without me, guys. Okay, let me check. Let me check something. Just allow me a couple of minutes. Oh yes. It was this one. Okay, guys, you're going to uh, do a personality quiz, guys. So this is nice. Okay, let me send it to you right now. Did you receive it? Yes, yes. Okay, so yes. this is what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, you're going to interview each other and you're going to ask that 11 questions, okay, to each other. I'm going to, we're, we are, we're nine, right? With me, we are 10. But let me check. I'm going to share right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll be two groups, okay? We're going to divide it into groups and please accept the invitation, guys. Oh no, how many we are? No, 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 I need to, I need to do something else. We need to do a more groups. More groups, so bear with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to do it again. There you go. Okay, accept the invitation please guys.
Jose, we're going to be together. Can you imagine? That's amazing. Okay, Jose. Let me start asking you some question, okay? Hey, when you work on a big project, do you try to finish quickly as possible? Work, work at it over a long period of time or put it off as uh, long as possible? What would be your answer? Try to finish it as quickly as possible. Okay. When you do an assignment, do you try to do a first class job so people will notice? Do it as well as you can without worrying too much about it? Or do only what you must uh, to get it done? I don't understand a lot about <laughs> this question. Yeah. At the first, I, I think now I have a question. Okay, uh, let me translate it to you in Spanish. Cuando tú tienes una asignación, tú tratas de hacer un trabajo de primera clase para que todas las personas lo, lo vean. El segundo mm. es hacer lo mejor que puedas sin preocuparte demasiado por ello eh, y, o hacer lo que se tendría que hacer. Okay, I think it's a try to do a first class because oh, oh, so oh, people eh. can notice. Okay, <laughs> now you ask me number three and four. When faced with a difficult challenge, do you look forward to facing it, mm -hmm. worry about dealing with it, trying to avoid? The first one, look forward to facing it. Okay. In the next is, do you think the, the best way to get the most out of a day is, is to do as many things as possible? Take your time to get things done? Do only those things you really have to? Mm, I think letter B. Take my time to get the things done. Okay. Now, now is my turn. A. When you need to do a big task, do you do it yourself? Work with others to get it done or not do it? Mm. That's difficult, right? Do you understand that I asked the question? Uh, I, I don't understand a lot. Okay. Because the, the image is a, a little ah, okay. small. And when I, you need to use glasses. When I <laughs> get zoom, uh, se distorsiona. Oh, okay. Le, de, dice, cuando tú tienes que hacer un gran tarea, big task, tú lo haces tú solo, dices a otros que te ayuden, o no lo haces. Okay, I think uh, what we cover to get it uh, done. Very good, okay. When something doesn't work out the way you want it to, do you, cuando algo no sale como tú lo quisieras, tú get angry with yourself and others, te enojas contigo y con los demás, think calmly about it and, and want to do next. O es decir, te calmas para ver qué es lo que vas a hacer después. O give up, te rindes, because it wasn't important anyway. De todos modos, no era importante. Think calmly about what to do next. Ok, very good. Mira que el tiempo se nos fue, pero vamos okay. a seguir haciéndolo tomorrow, ok? Ok. Pero, ¿qué te parece? Very good, right? Yes, very good to, uh -huh. to learn and, and understand. Yeah, we're going to learn. Voy a mandarles uno, uno más nítido. We're going to learn more vocabulary, guys. And at the same yeah, time, we're dealing, we're getting to know each other, right? Ves yeah. si eres una persona calmada, si eres una persona enojada, right? Or, or lazy. <laughs> or lazy, yes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's wait for... ¿Cómo les fue? Was it good? ¿Sí? ¿Se conocieron un poquito? Yes, teacher, but yeah. the, the answers are very difficult. I know, 
pero son, son palabras o frases más rebuscadas, ¿sí? Las vamos a hacer todos juntos mañana, ¿les parece? Lo vamos a hacer lo primero en la clase para hacer, es una survey, es como una encuesta para, para poder ir viendo más las frases y, las, y los significados, ¿sí? De las palabras, tanto de las preguntas como de las respuestas, ¿sí? Por eso se las doy, porque ustedes son pre-advanced. Entonces, necesitan más vocabulario, ¿ok? Ok, guys, gracias por estar aquí conmigo un día más. Very good. Hugs, kisses, please take care, ¿ok? Because I want to see you on Monday. Okay? Y acuérdense okay. que this coming week también es Friday. Okay. Sí, okay. Uh, 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 sí mm. Gorgita and Michelle. I'm sorry, but yes. Okay, but I'm so happy to see you once again. Okay, okay. Hugs, kisses. Have a great Take night. Care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.